It's time for another experiment with this EQ mode and the Alt-Z mode. Um, I want to do M42. Um, I've tried this in the last video that I did a comparison, and I wanted to try it again to see if I could get the images all in the same night so that the, you know, the playing field was more level. And that's what the plan is tonight. So far, it's going pretty well. I'm recording this while I'm imaging, just so that I can keep up with the video making while it's doing the imaging and I'm just waiting. Um, I'm going to, the plan is to do 30 minutes of exposure time on each of the options. And the options I'm going to compare are the Alt-Z azimuth mode, and then also do the EQ mode at 10 seconds, the EQ mode at 20 seconds, and the EQ mode at 30 seconds of exposure. Um, this experiment, I want to keep track of how long it takes me to gather that 30 minutes of exposure time so we can see how many of the attempts of, of exposures dropped and had star trails or something that made them um, not save. Uh, I wanted, so I wanted to compare that as well so that we would know, you know, we, part of the hype over the EQ mode is that it is better at tracking and so it's not going to drop as many exposures. And there are certainly factors that play into that. And, you know, it could be on one night you drop more than you would on a different night or a different place in the sky, that sort of thing. But this is just an informal experiment that we're doing tonight. Um, I have gathered uh, two of the four so far, and I'm in the middle of imaging the third. I'm about halfway through the third. So I'm hoping everything goes smoothly and I'm able to capture all of them. If not, I may have to use the exposures from yesterday that were the same amount of time and then I can look back in the file and gather the data that I need for knowing how long it took to image those but we're crossing our fingers that I'll be able to do it all in one evening so that you know the the playing field needs to be as level as we can make it even if it is an informal experiment so that is the plan tonight and next up will be the results of those um, experiments and those exposures and I'll identify those as I do them. So stay tuned. First up in the lineup is the Alt-Z or Azimuth mode at 10 second exposures. I won't try doing any more than the 10 second exposures because we know that those are not probably going to work well and, and it would take me forever to stack enough but I'm just going to do the 10 second exposures, gather 30 minutes of exposure time um, on this image. It took me 48 minutes to gather that 30 minutes of exposure time. And this is the result of that image. Uh, later on, after I've shown all of the four options, I will put them together so that we can compare them side by side because it's really hard to see differences especially if they're minor differences um, when you're doing different slides for each one. So no worries, I will put them together so that you can compare, you can look and see if you can see field rotation, that sort of thing. We will do that after we've exposed all four of the options individually so that we can gather the data. So this one took 48 minutes to gather 38, 30 minutes of exposure time. And so that's the very first one we're going to do. And then we're going to switch the C star over to EQ mode and start with the 10 second. Then we'll do the 20 and then the 30 second one. And then we'll compare them all together. This is the second image of the night. Um, I actually was unable to do this one tonight. So this is actually one from last night. It was taken a little bit earlier in the night. When I went to do the imaging tonight, I put the ones first that I wasn't able to gather last night so that if I did run out of time to image them because 
of Orion falling below the horizon or getting low in the sky that I would at least have the images. And this is the only one I was unable to image tonight before the um, the lights and things started interfering with it as it was dropping down closer to the, the horizon. And so this one was taken about the same time frame last night and the same number of exposures were taken. It um, it, so it's basically the same exposure experiment just taken last night instead of tonight. But the other three images were all taken tonight. I was able to look back in the files on the Sea Star from last night when I imaged this, and it took 42 minutes to gather the 30 minutes of exposure time on this um, example. This is done in EQ mode in the 10 second exposure rate time. So this is the first one that we're doing in the EQ mode. This is our third image of the night. It is taken in EQ mode under the 20 second exposure rate. Um, it took uh, 38 minutes to gather 30 minutes worth of exposure time on this one. And so it's a little bit less time on this one than the previous one and the azimuth mode. So 38 minutes to gather 30 minutes worth of exposure. So it, it was able to keep almost all of the exposures it captured. And that's a pretty good rate of return on this one. So this one, again, as a reminder, EQ mode. Uh, 20 second exposure rate, and this is image number three. And we have one more to go to compare. This is the final image in this experiment. Um, this one also was taken tonight. So three of the four were taken tonight, and then just the one was taken last night, about the same time frame in the evening. All of them were taken in relatively the same amount of time. Uh, we just ran out of um, height and altitude for the object. And so I had to improvise a little. So this one is done in EQ mode for 30 second exposure rates. Um, it took 55 minutes to gather the 30 minutes of exposure in this one. So quite a bit more time. So it was dropping about 50% of the exposure attempts to gather the 30 minutes. Um, another th interesting thing was there was a satellite that went through this one and I'll show that to you right here. It's, it's pretty dim right now on this exposure. The satellite went through early on in the saving of the exposures and it took almost the whole entire time to, to kind of mute that satellite line out. And so that was kind of an interesting one, kind of fun to see something a little different. And so now we have all four of our images. I'm going to put them all together so that we can compare them side by side and see if we think there's a difference in using EQ mode versus the azimuth mode and whether or not the different exposure rates makes a difference. And so that's what we're gonna do next. I've put all of the four images up here on the same screen. I've labeled them at the top. So they are from left to right in the order that they were in the video. Um, so I can see quite a bit of difference. A lot of the noise in the azimuth mode is evident in this comparison. Um, if you look at the EQ 10 second exposure rate, there's a lot less color than the other two. And so it got better and better. The EQ20, that's the 20 second exposure rate. That one is pretty brilliant. And I really like that one a lot. On the EQ30, um, it it's not quite as good as the 20. I, that's just my opinion. Everybody may think something different, but I can see definite differences in all of them. The 20 and 30 are fairly close together but I can definitely see a difference in the azimuth 
mode, there's a lot more noise in that option, a um, lot more kind of dullness to it. And the EQ10 isn't quite as brilliant. It, it's also a little bit more muted. Um, I really like the EQ20. Um, when I look down at the bottom part of the object, it's just a little bit more red and more vibrant. That's my opinion, and perhaps it's because I've been staring at them both for so long. But um, the 20 and the 30 are, are fairly close together. But if I were having to pick, I'd pick the EQ20. Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Do you see the differences, or have I just been staring at them too long? You know, sometimes you do that and you start seeing things you expect to see instead of what really is there. But I can definitely see a difference in these. When I look at the stars and things, I can see a little bit more sharpness and brilliance to them in the EQ20 and EQ30. Um, it was just a kind of an, a fun experiment. I was glad I was able to capture enough time you know, with M42 dropping so low in the sky, it's going to be a while until we can image it again consistently. And so this was a fun experiment to do. Um, I'll continue doing some. I, I'd really like to do some different objects and compare them to see if it makes a difference on, you know, maybe star clusters or um, more faint nebula or I don't know. We'll see what the future holds for doing more experiments like this, but um, I've enjoyed doing them. It kind of proves to me whether what settings I want to use when I go forward. Um, do I want to do the just the azimuth mode and bag the EQ mode? Well, probably not, because I, in all the experiments I've done, I think I've favored the EQ20, so that's probably the one that I would use as a go-to, but you know, everybody has to make that decision for themselves. I can see definite advantages in the EQ mode. Um, I was surprised how many exposures it dropped on the 30 versus the 20. The 20 seemed to be the most efficient on the exposure dropping star trails issue. So that was encouraging as well. Um, give me your thoughts. Tell me if there's other images you'd like to see a comparison on and we'll uh, move forward. Uh, I know it's been a hard time for people to get out with all the clouds and storminess and, you know, it's winter here in, in my region. And so, you know, that's to be expected. But uh, we're wishing clear skies for everybody and enjoy having everybody join us on the journey. And thanks for joining.